Hello everyone, Luke here from Pretty Tutor. In today's tutorial, I will talk to you about file management within Unreal Engine 5. So to get started, once we open up ourselves on Unreal Engine 5, most of the empty projects will look something like this. It won't have a content drawer opened up, and instead what you'll have to do is open it yourself by using this button in the bottom left corner. So by clicking this, you'll be able to open up yourself a content drawer just like that. You can also open it up by using control space shortcut and also you can dock this onto your layout because right now if you were to make some adjustments during the scene you're automatically your drawer automatically lowers down by itself so what we can do is dock ourselves the layout by using this button over here by clicking on it it'll automatically dock to the bottom of our view Let's say you want to organize yourself to the folder that you have. So for that, if you want to move yourself an object into the folder, all you'd have to do is click and hold using your left mouse, then drag it into the folder like that, and select move here. However, if you want to take it out of the folder, you go onto it by double clicking on it, you have to make use out of the navigation on the left side. Make sure to expand the tab with your project's name in it in order to see all the folders with your content. Be using your left mouse button, clicking and holding, and dragging it onto the content folder itself. By doing so, then clicking move here, we're able to go back onto the content drawer and see that we moved our example material outside of the example folder. One more thing that you should know is you go inside of the multiple folders and you want to get outside of it, you can use the tab on the top which tells you the location that you're in. So right now we are within the contents folder inside of the examples folder, examples folder 02 and we are within the examples folder 03. To go outside of it, we can simply click on a folder beforehand, and just like that, we can go out of it. Or alternatively, if we want to go all the way back onto our contents folder, we can click on a button like that. Now, if we're working with multiple assets within our content drawer, and we're using multiple folders, what we can do is we can set up ourselves multiple content browser windows. So for that, we were to go onto the upper left corner, select the Windows tab, then hovering over the Contents Browser tab, and we can click on Content Browser 2. By doing that, we're going to get ourselves a second Content Browser, which we can rescale by using the bottom corner of the window. Once we get the mouse, just like that, we're going to be able to scale ourselves the window just like that. Or alternatively, we can also, or we can also dock this onto our other content browser window. So for that, we're going to click and hold onto the tab itself, onto this bit over here, using a left mouse button, and then we could either attach it right above it, just like that, or we can attach it within this window, within our other content browser window. So we'd have two separate on the browser, just like that, which is pretty useful if you're working in between the files. So those type of content browsers, you can have up to four. As you can see, it says content browser one, content browser two, and we can have two more, which is quite neat. What you should also know is that you can set up your favorite folders to go faster in between them. So for example, if I were to select this by using right click and then selecting add to favorites, we're going to expand the favorites tab and you'll notice we're going to get ourselves the examples folder just like that so we can have multiple of your favorites and if you want to see more of your favorites you would have to drag your mouse downwards within this area to make an expansion for this section one more final thing that you should know is that if you're trying to move something by accident and you want to cancel it all you have to do is hit escape and it will cancel your action. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that this basic tutorial on Unreal Engine 5 content browser system will help you navigate through your folders faster and will aid you in keeping your project more orderly. Make sure to check out our other online goods as well. We do online courses, create 3D assets, and PBR textures. All the links can be found in the description down below. Thanks for watching.